things holding you back from making money in your business as a stylist. Now this is a topic I am super passionate about because as a personal stylist and image consultant myself, I was on the struggle bus when I started my business to make money, good money. <laughs> I was busy, but I could never seem to pay my bills and I was consistently living paycheck to paycheck. And it wasn't until I discovered a lot of what I'm going to talk to you about today that shifted everything for me in my business and now has put me in a position where I have made well over $1.5 million in my business. I am very blessed to do the things that I love, serve women at the highest level, help them with their style. And now I'm also helping other stylists too. And if this is something that you want to do, if you want to grow your business as an image consultant or stylist into the six figure range, if you want to make your first six figures or you want to scale beyond and get multiple six figures or more, I would love to have you inside of my style CEO program because this is something I am so passionate about. I wanted to make a full robust program for stylists and image consultants to help them grow their business. Now I'd actually done this a few years ago. I had my program, the aligned empire, and I've just rejudged it with a new name and refresh it and just put so much more love into this program. So it is fully robust. You get 10 modules taking you through all the nuts and bolts of running a personal styling and image consulting business. And we're not only going to look at the energetics of being a style CEO, but we're going to look at how to be supported, the marketing, the strategy, how to create hell yes offers that people want and can't wait to jump into and be a part of your energy and have your expertise help them up level their life. We're going to be covering money. We're going to cover how to get into media, how to get brand partnerships, all the things that I've learned over the past 15 years of being a personal stylist and image consultant is something I'm giving to you in this program throughout 10 modules. Now, if that weren't enough, I truly believe you have to be supported when you are growing your business. And I don't think your average business program cuts it, at least not for personal stylists and image consultants. And so for that reason, I'm also offering biweekly group coaching calls for five months. And so until the end of December this year, you will have me to ask questions, get mentorship, get coaching on all the questions that you have specifically about your business to help you grow, scale, and do a full glow up that feels good to you on your terms so that you can become a heart-centered style CEO that makes you feel good. So I'm going to leave the information for this down below. The early bird pricing for this program ends at the end of this week and the doors close for registration as of July 23rd, but I would love, love to have you. And so the link will be in the description box down below. Now, one of the first reasons that tends to hold a lot of personal stylists back and image consultants back in their business and also for making money is the fact that you don't have a clear vision. I think a lot of the time, and this was definitely me, I was just so excited to even get into this business. <laughs> and I was just itching to style people. I wanted to do the personal shopping and the pulls and the wardrobe sessions and all these things. And that was my focus. I didn't really have much of a vision for my business outside of that. And because of that, it didn't grow. Your business has to have a vision to guide it, direct it. So you know where to put your energy. And so that you know, when you're looking at a task at any given time, whether this is ultimately serving the goal of your business and the direction that you want to take it in, or whether it's maybe just a time waster and your time could be better spent doing something else. This may seem like a very simple thing, but having a vision is one of the best things that you can do for any business, never mind just a, a styling or an image consulting business, but a vision will guide you. It will give you the direction or path that you need to create for yourself. And again, keep your energy focused, your vision focused so that you know who you're talking to, what direction you're going on, what your next steps are, and also keep you deeply rooted in why you are doing the things that you are doing. Because being an entrepreneur, let me tell you, can be a roller coaster sometimes and you need to have your deep rooted why, your vision, your North Star guiding you to want to continue as you go along. So get crystal clear in a vision. What does you know your multi-million dollar self look like? What does she show up like? How does she act? What are the things that she's offering in her business? Get clear on that. What does a day look like? What's the end goal here? Make that crystal clear for yourself. This will make such a difference alone in your business. It's not enough to just want to style, do the personal shopping and love fashion. You gotta have a vision that comes along with your business. It makes all the difference in the world. The second thing that can be holding you back in your business is that you are talking 
to everybody. And again, I think a lot of this just comes from a full excitement place, or maybe you just don't know who your client is at this time. Maybe you just began and you're not sure. But if you are speaking to everybody, you're actually talking to nobody. And you want to make sure that you get clear on who that soulmate client is and what she needs, right? What is she looking for assistance with? Because if you're talking to absolutely everybody, there's not going to be any connection. And it's so important that you connect with the people that you want to work with and that they feel that connection because personal styling and image consulting is so personal. You're in someone's personal space. You're hearing about all the things that, you know, are gripes for them or that cause them pain or frustration. And you're in their closet, you're handling their personal belongings, right? And so for that reason, you want to make sure that there's this warm sense of connection between who and you desire to work with and that they can feel that through all of the marketing that you might create, all your offers that you create. And so for this reason, it's important to get clear on who you're talking to, be as specific as possible, rather than just trying to talk to the masses. You know, you hear about going viral all the time. And while that can be a great little nugget for visibility for your business, it still doesn't mean it's going to create sales unless you are making a connection with the people that you want to talk to. And so even though it can be scary, get specific, know who your client is, who you want to talk to. Again, this is something that we cover in depth about how to do so inside of Style CEO. But this is such a game changer and will completely shift the way that your business operates. Now, a third one that is big, okay, this is big is you are offering things that you don't want to. This was something I really struggled with when I began my business because I heard for image consulting specifically, everyone's like, oh, get into corporate, you know, do corporate talks, corporate lunch and learns. That's where all the money is. That's where you can charge big numbers. And I started doing that in my business initially. And don't get me wrong, I genuinely love giving talks, but it was not something where I'm like, yippee, can't wait to do a corporate talk this week. Like it was just never that for me. And uh, I, it kind of made me miserable initially because I felt like I was wrong for wanting to do more of the private end of styling, you know, more of the coaching and the, and the fashion styling. And it really messed with me for years thinking that I should be doing something. And so I made myself do the thing when it actually really wasn't the thing that I wanted to get involved in. And even within styling itself, there were certain aspects that I didn't like. You cannot pay me enough money to go into someone's closet and organize it with a label maker and the bins and all the things. I will not and have never done that because I don't want to. But I see a lot of stylists out there, especially some of the ones I coach, doing things they don't want to do, whether it's calls they're offering, parts of services they're offering that they don't want to or that they don't like. And to me, this can mess with your business because it messes not only with your energy because you're not going to get excited about offering something you don't want to do, but your people can feel that too. They know that there's something that's energetically off. And so for that reason, instead of something that you've created being a hell yes, it's like mm, maybe, or I think I'll go look for another stylist instead. So the thing that I always tell any stylist or image consultant I coach is it is dream business vibes only or nothing. You set the bar high, know what it is that you want to do, only offer the things that light you up because people can feel that. When you are excited about the things that you love, people can feel that passion and they get excited too. It makes such a difference. Now, another thing, and this is a touchy one for a lot of people, is you aren't selling anything. Now, as much as it would be nice to think that people are organically gonna drop into your website and look for ways to pay you, and that can happen, the truth of the matter is you have to sell something. You have to talk about how you can work with people, what you can do, how you are helping them, what you are sharing in your world that you know is going to light people up and change their lives. Because as an image consultant or stylist, that's exactly what you do. You shift people's perception of who they are. You're changing their self image, you're changing their body image, their confidence. You're making them more money in their business because you've given them an, an edge because of how they look. That is incredible. And so you want to be able to talk about the services or programs or offerings that you have because you are in the job or business of sales when you become an entrepreneur. That is the reality. And I know this can feel icky. It was something that felt icky to me when I very first started getting into business. So I was like, Ooh, like people are going to be totally grossed out by this. 
But the reality is gas stations, Nordstrom, bloggers with their links all the time. They are selling you stuff all the time. They know they're in business, right? A restaurant is only open for the sole purpose of selling you stuff. Nordstrom's only open for the sole purpose of selling you stuff. Any clothing store is only open for the sole purpose of selling you stuff. <laughs> it is the reality of being a business. You are no different, but it doesn't have to feel icky. If you create things that people want and you desire to also offer, that is a magnetic combination. And again, something I teach very deeply. And so that changes how you look at showing up in your business. But you gotta sell and tell people what you are offering and how you can help because otherwise no sales means you're really not in business. You just have a very expensive hobby. And another thing that can hold stylists and image consultants back is undercharging. You've probably heard me talk about this at length on my channel before, but many people have a block around either feeling too expensive or not being affordable for everybody and you know, or being more expensive than other people in their area. And I got to tell you, you got to get over it because undercharging is you know watering down your energy because you're gonna be burnt out trying to do more to compensate for not charging enough, right? And that's just gonna leave you resentful in your business at the end of the day. But also too, you gotta really root yourself in how valuable what you are offering is. It's not just clothes. As I mentioned, it's the body image, the confidence that comes with it. You're saving people money from shopping mistakes in the long run. You're helping them gain more income in their business or in their career from giving them a sharper image that you're helping them with, right? There's so much stuff, not to mention how long services take for stylists, both on the back end and with clients. It all deserves compensation, right? You don't have to undercharge. And remember, there is a customer at every price point, just like there are some people that buy Ferraris and some people that buy Kia, neither of which are right and wrong, just two very different customers. Styling is no different. You get to decide who it is that you want to serve, what you feel you are worth, because you ultimately get to set your fee, which is the beautiful part about being an entrepreneur and making sure that that matches the value of obviously what your people get after they work with you, right? Because you wanna make sure that it's energetically clean and it feels good both for you and the person buying because it's all very exciting, right? It's all an energetic exchange. And so make sure that you're not undercharging yourself because if you are paid well, right? And you charge a fee that you know you're worth, you are gonna show up so much stronger in your business. You'll have more space and freedom around your time. And that is very, very powerful. So get deeply rooted in what a gift you have, how people need you to show up every single day and know that you are more than worthy of the fee that you desire to charge. You can hear Charlie in the background, I apologize. <laughs> And so if you want to become a style CEO, if you want to embody and learn the energetics behind being a style CEO, along with the strategy, the marketing, how to create a team, how to be supported, how to charge everything you need, the business side of style, I would love to have you. And again, I will leave the link in the description box down below. And other than that, I'm sending you all the love to the moon and back, and I will catch you again in the next video. Bye.